Okay, there we are once again the famous Bendix Diner as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee Hasbro Kites, New Jersey Route 17 South I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback for more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about maybe more madness who who the hell knows who the hell knows Real small bikini, like, oh, oh like God. like those Walmart shopper uh, photos I see where you have the obese people shopping at Walmart no I haven't seen that but boy no. this is just well it's, it's about obese women wearing next to nothing oh so this is that's just, oh and they got the flab and the cellulite wow, hanging out so that's supposed to be appealing when they when they dress up like that no they don't know any better I guess go ahead ask some questions oh well no I, I got I gotta tell you something funny All right. I was at Walmart pharmacy dropping off my prescription so I was online Today? Yesterday, no, yesterday. Today I picked it, picked up the the drugs. They're they're in, oh, I got an ice cold beer for you. Okay, what kind? The the one you like. Which one? Genesee Cream Ale. Well, I like the other one, the Indian one. Good yeah, too. no, this one I gave you too. Also, you like? Well, I know, but anything but that Indian. No, one. no, I'm not giving you that. No, no. That's musty. You said it sucked. No, I I I I, I, I tasted it and I said, damn it, it, Billy, it's Billy. Horrible. I said Billy was right. I'll anything never buy it. with an Indian on it. It's a strong musty beer. No, it's it, it was the mustiness, musky. That's, that's India. Anything with India is yeah. musty. They so, overuse curry and they overuse all their spices. No, it's, whatever they do to it, it's it's musky. So anyway, some people use the word skunky, but you know that's probably synonymous. Anyway, I get, into, I get into a very brief chat. This Asian woman gets into a brief chat with me. All of a sudden, she asks me, what's your monthly income? I go, excuse me? I says, wait a minute, excuse me? You're very rude. I said, that's none of your business. What's my, you don't even know me. She, she, probably a rude Asian thing. I don't know. She just like. And how did it end? So I, I, I spoke to a friend from Shanghai who said, uh, that's that's a common question. I says no, it's not. She says, well, you Americans are sensitive, too sensitive. I go, no, that's a little overindulgent there. I mean, let's I'm, be honest. I mean, yeah, let's say on. let's say I was rich and I hit the Powerball lottery, and so oh, somebody asked me that, I would think they're trying to like size up my income. Yeah, that is very personal. Actually. Yeah. That's overstepping bounds. Yes, it's rude. That's why I said. So to how did it end? She just like says. Oh, I'm sorry. I go, okay. And that was it. I says, you know, I'm not, I says, I'm not going to tell you my monthly income. Because <laughs> you'd embarrass yourself. No, even if I was like Warren Buffett, like you mentioned, I, it's none of her business. It, it, it shouldn't be, fr you know, like talking to people, friendships, or even dating. I'm your friend. It's none of my business. Well, I know what you do. You're I, but I don't, but I don't voluntarily, you say, uh, oh, Billy, by the way, I'm getting uh, this amount. But then again, I'm not dating you, so. You I'm know. getting off my food stamps for EBT. I'm getting 15 whole dollars a month. I'm living the high life. Let's round it off to 15. I'm getting a whole, oh, I send in the application. They wanted me to uh, recertify. Um, they didn't ask me for any documents, thank God, because I wouldn't give it to them. I tell them to take a flying leap. Let's see what they say. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Madonna, you're entitled now to a whopping $3 a month. Well, raise you to $19 a month. <laughs> you can really eat on the high, the high end. Or you'll live high on the hog. Remember Boss Hog from the Dukes of Hazard? how he ate? Well, that's how, or Chris Christie. <laughs> Man, you must have cranked up your air conditioner. I can imagine your apartment. That was everything there, though. Intact. What are, what are you talking about? Oh, nobody's going in. They're not allowed. Oh, I thought I saw you coming out. Oh, you're no, not. No, I, I, I leave the apartment. That's how I leave the hotel to go around and come oh, around too. Is today Wednesday? 
Yeah. I thought Wednesday was the magic. Uh, no, not yet. It's all bullshit. <laughs> oh, Jesus no, Christ. I wasn't coming. I, I, I wonder what the hell are you talking about? What when I know? said I answered my own question, I honestly no, thought you were. I'm not back yet. Oh, my no. God. Remember what you told me at the beginning of the week? I don't believe it till I see it about Wednesday. I asked the ambulance this morning. Am I going back in today? He said no. You know, somebody's somebody's fucking with you, man. Yep. No, I'm, 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 wait here. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. The system is fucking with well, William. Well, I'll be getting back into my apartment real soon. Am I going to lose my apartment? Okay. Good, good direct questions. Am I going to be barking real loud real soon? There you go. That's what I want. Here you go. I hope you get restitution. I really I do. Want to get vengeance. I want you to sue the. F I want you to sue the fuck out of the real estate agent. Forgiveness is total bullshit, isn't it? Ventures is what you need to do, isn't it? Like the Old Testament says. The, what does it say? The, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth? Okay. I'm just sick and tired of fed up with all the goddamn fucking bullshit. Am I wrong? Last eight years, I've been under You're not wrong. Lately, with all the shit that's happening to me, I swear a whole lot more than I ever have in my life. Is that bad? Well, well, let's look at the facts. Oh, I know, no, I know the fact, but I'm just saying, see how you verify your No, story, like, man, like you know? I, I can understand having cable turned off because cable's expensive. No, I know, and I know. But, let's but, not rehash But the electric here. bill? Oh, that's bullshit, too. You're in, some you're in a studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it true... Make sure it stops. Don't let it swing. Is it true that the real estate company that owns the apartment complex where William Morrow lives... Gabriel Realty. Gabriel Realty is personally trying to screw over people on a fixed income that live there? Yes. Is, is, does it come down to greed in our rigged capitalist system? Well, it is definitely greed. Well, yeah, but you're going to hold back to the capitalist. No, well, because I'm trying to get to the root of the problem. Yeah, that's all for widespread. Um, Zero it down. Uh, Gabriel Realty. Is, they're tr is, they're uh, trying is to. Is owner John Gabriel a completely total asshole? Is, it, it, is John Gabriel the owner of Gabriel Gabriel Realty a, a complete total asshole? Son of a bitch! Is John Gabriel a greedy fuck? That, I found out the strip mall in Lodi is owned by a realty. The Chinese takeout told me. It's not a landlord. Well, they're all owned by a realty or somebody. So, so the, the, the trend of business rent in strip malls in this area, is it due to the greed of real, the real estate companies? Well, if I, yes. Whether it's a company or an individual, an individual is a separate company, too. Well, so look at my landlord. It doesn't want to fix anything, right? He's a company, though. He's incorporated. He's an asshole. Yeah. Uh, Ask it. Is, sl is your landlord an asshole? Is my landlord a, a asshole with a slumlord mentality? Okay. Same mentality as, as John Gabriel. Same, same mentality as John Gabriel. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm very angry and pissed off at a lot of people right now, like I've never been in my life before. Yes, he is. Wanting vengeance, am I wrong? Yeah, I'll 
Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, right. Yeah, you're quiet. You're you're qualified. I'm very intolerant of the bullshit, aren't I? Oh, I got a good question. Okay, what is it? Since William Morrow legally qualifies for what he gets, should should any of it be taken away from him? What's being taken away from him? Well, you keep on losing and getting it back. Well, losing. They made mistakes or whatever. It's not taken away when they cancel it. No, you know, no, like no. Jackie had to go to Batfield yeah, no, a lot. It's just bullshit and mistakes and forgetfulness. No. Oh, you mean incompetence in the office? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. There's lots of that. Am I going to come out totally ahead concerning my apartment? See, right to the point, bam, answer. They should give you six months rent free. Well, the shit they put me through, should they be giving me some free rent? See? The mental stress they put you through? Mm -hmm. And, and the expense of staying in a hotel? I don't care anymore what they fucking do. Let them choke on their own bile for a while, I care. Yeah, That's but I want to have a cigarette. It's, so. um, what's the term I'm looking for? An injustice. Where's your buddy Sal been? My buddy, too. He just bad. Sal Cadre? Yeah. Well, no, the other Sal. Jimmy we don't G. know any other Sal. Well, there you go. Well, I do know other Sal. I know Salvatore Mercurio, sir. Well, I don't. Well, 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 what's I, happened to Sal? I don't know. He's being like a Spanish. He's being weird. He hangs with that Kirit guy who doesn't talk. But he's being weird. Being? I tell you one thing, it's harassment of low income people is what it is. Well, it's, it's blatant harassment. People on a fixed income. I mean, how they, how they do this to people. It's horrible. Gabriel, Gabriel Realty, nothing but a bunch of assholes. There you go. Real fast. So they're using your bathroom as an excuse? Well, it is bad. It is sink. It's not your fault. No, no. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I'm going to make a bathroom sink. <laughs> no, I mean, John Gabriel, you know, in no, his it's mind. It's just their bad structure or whatever underneath in the crawl space. Right. It's, it's just something that shit happens. Am I to blame for the bad condition of the bathroom sinking? Of course not. Yeah, but that gives you proof, doesn't it? There you go. Yeah. So, Plus it warms Have up. I done anything whatsoever to hurt that bathroom? There you go. Yeah. There you go. It's just, um, it's just, uh... Is Eileen's brother making $200 million a year? <laughs> oh. Yes. Our acquaintance, the crazy Eileen. Is her brother really making eighty or even 50000 a year? Oh, he makes good money. We'll go by one at a time. Eighty thousand. Oh, we'll narrow it. Down. Does he? Does his? Does Eileen's brother make a lot of money, income-wise? Oh, that's a vague statement. What's a lot to you could be different to somebody else. Does Maybe he? It's... Does he make eighty thousand per down, year? Down, yeah. Really? Should I try it? Hmm. Yeah. I guess he must, be, he must be a cheap bass. You don't want to help her out. Our friend, our acquaintance here at, at McDonald's, I leave. Does her brother make $80,000 a year? No. Is Amulet trying to bust old James P. Madonna's balls? <laughs> Maybe. Does my friend Jimmy Madonna ask the questions in a, in a wrong way? In a wrong way. Can't, can't be more logical than what I asked it. I did short. I have been shortening my questions. Big, big, big swing. Yes. Yeah. That's why when it goes, I still let me do it. And, uh, yeah, I know. Cause well, the, the spirit entity. Uh, People uh, have different energy levels when asking you questions, important questions. Yes. What, are you gonna, what, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. 
I'm going to take a few swings well, and jabs at a spirit. I tried to stop you. I, I stopped you a couple of weeks ago. So don't wrap it around your finger. No, well, no, I've been doing this. Well, I mean, but you were. I were. Remember when you were, I said, don't do that. Well, I was trying to secure it. No, you know? no, no. So I was hindering you it. You can secure the energy just by holding Gen it and squeezing right there. That's your energy. You don't have to wrap it and do all yeah. that stuff. In fact, you may be hindering it by what you're doing. It's a possibility. Just like you said, the weeks, lighter. You know, okay. Weeks ago, my friend Jimmy Madonna was... The way he was holding the cord, your string, was he doing it all wrong? Okay. See? Like you were telling I'm not me. Lie to you. Like you were telling me. Why would I lie to you? Right? No. Remember like no, I'm not great. Like you were telling me, the lighter, the lighter the cord, the better the you swing. You know taught where it's stiff or whatever. Yeah. Give it free swing, yeah. free rain. Let it swing on its own. Oh, by the way, thank God you still have all your wavy locks, your your hair. Yeah. You haven't you haven't lost anything. Well, you're not. I'm not on chemo anymore, Jimmy. Are you remember, like, oh, when you were therapy now. Oh, when you had chemo and you were brushing your hair, there was a lot coming out. Very little. Very little. No, yeah, no, like you know, I very mean, compared little. to other people. There's that, very, very little is coming out, and uh, that stopped completely. Oh my God! And uh, well, they got wonderful commercials on on Immuno. For, for a while, my doctors were laughing because for a while, my before you, while you were yeah. still in your eight month pal, my hair got really, <laughs> really, really well. It was my hair got really wavy. I said, "Look at this," and they laughed. They said, "Yeah, but it looks good." I said, "Oh, I know, but it is funny. Look how wavy it's gotten from the drugs you guys." But thank me. God you you retained it. That's the yeah. Important I didn't thing. lose hardly any at all. <laughs> I said, "Nah," I said, "Nah, I'm okay," but I'm off chemo, so yeah. I'm off. Uh, I'm on the immunotherapy, which doesn't yeah. hold hair. I see the commercials all the time. Well, you're seeing the, which is a great commercial. The animation, you know? yeah. Well, with the, they show the cancer stuff, but. So I think it's America's pharma biopharmaceutical yes. company. Yes. That's a good commercial because it shows all the different things they do. So, yeah. And they and they go. and they could they could very well get the drug from a natural source. Who knows? Like yeah. the mushrooms, Asian mushrooms. As you know, I quit <clears throat> chemotherapy because I just couldn't handle it. Oh, it's brutal. Is it better that I'm on immunotherapy instead? Thank you. Thank you. See what I mean? Yeah. It's it's a beautiful thing using the body's own immune system. But how this agreed, said it, yes. Yeah. You never thought my being on chemo was any good, did you? And you know what else was nice too? Your 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 friend, the Turkish girl, she she um, verified the historic uh, significance of this. She recognized it immediately. Oh, I, I didn't know that was Turkey. No, it's it's Middle Eastern and India. It's the whole region. Oh. Yeah. She. Oh, I feel, I felt bad. She said she she had to fly at night over the Atlantic and Mediterranean. Well, what's the matter, day or night? What are you going to see? Water below your clouds. Oh, well, it's still so high up. I guess when you're flying over an ocean, it's still intimidating. You know, I mean. <laughs> it still sucks. Well, like if something happens, God forbid. She's a nice girl though. Oh yeah, yeah. When something happens, God forbid, the plane can always call an airport in in any given city. Like if it's going across the US and, and they're having problems, they can call us Cincinnati International well, Airport. Not if you don't know enough fuel to turn around and get it's called the point of no return. You reach your halfway point, you can't get back. You've got to continue on. No, I mean you gotta you got emergency land is what I'm well, trying no, to say. No, but you don't if you're out there past the point of no return, you can't. Yeah, you're right. Like if it's you're rude, you've got to keep going or, or or ditch in the ocean. That's why they have rafts. Yeah. Life rafts yeah. and vests and stuff. Or if you're you going you can only go so far. Or, let, or let's say you're going over the Rocky Mountains mm -hmm. for headed for Vancouver, British Columbia. If you're over the Rockies and there's no airport you know, the nearest city is kind of like beyond the um, the range, and you have to. Well, where are you going to? Well, you can't emergency land because you're over. You're going over the Rocky Mountains. Well, where are you going to land anyway? It's no smooth surface. It's like trees and rocks. It's right. Ripping the shreds. Right. It's not like Montana or, so, or, or South. What no, is it? Where you might have some big, big ranch space. Wyoming, Dakotas. Yes, yeah, flat. Uh, what do they call those? The Plain states. 
playing. Hey, how about, how about that Michael Cohen with the with the uh, the Trump recording? Isn't that great? Yeah, but what was the recording about, Jimmy? Nothing. It was about. I'm he, not a Trump fan, as you no. know. But really, let's be honest. Yeah. What was? Well, about? he was saying he was he was saying you it during know, the campaign about. Uh, this was nothing. About the tris. So Where what? He got laid. He's, just, he's an asshole. Well, he, he ran cheated. away on his wife, after, around on his wife after she gave birth to Baron. He's an asshole. That's not illegal. It just shows yeah. lack of character. Yeah. And, and, and that's why when I saw the, the heard the Cohen shit, I said, "Well, so what? This isn't anything to, for impeachment or anything. No. There's nothing." It's probably a character, a flaw that is showing. What well, does it shows yeah. lack of character? Yeah, I mean, but look at all the assholes that that that, that brag about him and defend. Yeah. Today with this comp, comp, Trump and its former attorney Cohen tape recording. Michael Cohen. Yeah. Is it any big deal? It means absolutely nothing, doesn't it? See? So Trump is like. It's almost like he. He's, he has clothing of Teflon. Everything just slides off. Yeah, that, but I, I don't get it. I don't understand this shit. I don't. But I mean, I'm not surprised at his supporters because they are numbskulls and imbeciles. But I mean, the fact that the I know the Republican Party, maybe the Russians have something on all the Republicans because well, why are they? Why they are they not? They're not going. You're not asking me important questions. Yeah, like, like treason, for instance, Russian involvement in the. Have something very, very bad against Don on Donald Trump. Thank you. See, that's an important question. But bam, right to the point. Yeah. This does Putin have something on Trump? Supposedly, has something on Hillary too. Does Putin have much damaging stuff on Hillary Clinton as well? Oh no! I didn't think he did. Mm. What could he have on her? <laughs> really? Come on. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Well, Trump keeps on bringing up the, the term "crooked Hillary's emails." Trump put an ad out for the, the Central Park Five, or one of them <laughs> executed. Okay. How many other things has he been wrong on? Trump Not because Trump won. Trump wants you better want the opposite. Trump University. Um, oh, and his stakes. His stakes. Trump University. His stakes, his ties. What about the red cap that says make America great? It says made in China on the on the oh, lake. He's just uh, He is such a he you know what he reminds me of? A carnival snake oil charlatan. A huckster. He lies Is so Donald much. Trump one huge, giant, fake and phony? There you go, verified. Pendulum verified. There you go. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. See, that's how you ask questions. Bam, facts, yeah. bam, 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 you know, bam, to the point. Think like a newscast. They had they had different version versions of this um, blue eye amulet, but because I like the weight of it, I thought the it would make the it. Weight's good. The weight's good. No, I mean compared to the other ones, this was the heaviest. But you're you're right about about tauntness. I'm asking this is kind of a joke, okay? So bear with me. My friend Jimmy Madonna, in love with I R. Point to Eileen down here. Why are you trying to match me up with that freak? <laughs> he, I just said I'm doing. This oh, okay, as a joke. Okay, okay. Listen, because she grosses me out, Billy. It doesn't matter. I said I'm doing this to be. Oh, funny. okay. But it, you started yakking away as always. No, because she grosses the crap out. I don't care. That was she's not here. I was oh, okay. asking. You started yakking. It said no, and that's what I figured it was. Because you keep on trying to hook us up. I'm not trying to hook you up. Oh, you're making fun. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta shut up a little bit. Listen, please. God, I forget what I was going to say. It is um, something about me and Eileen. I know. Shut up. Don't say a word now, okay? Okay. Uh. 
I'm asking this just in a funny sort of way. Is my friend Jimmy Madonna in love with Arlene, our queen son here at McDonald's? There you go. No. But, I'm not saying a word. Thank God. Oh, I just did. I'm sorry. Well, it just said that's all right. But when you get start to go on them, but see, there you go. Because the, oh, the, the, oh, there you go. The, oh, the yellow teeth. But, but I know. There you go. The one she. You ever notice when, when she, when the amulet says things she doesn't want to hear, she pout, she pouts her lips. You, oh, Billy, Billy, oh, she gets scared. She gets scared. Because she can't accept the fact that the my guy is, is. I don't know what the hell he is. <laughs> I wonder if he exists. <laughs> well, it said, it said he does. So oh, okay. I remember okay. that we did yeah. that a few weeks yeah. ago. It said he does. Maybe he's just as 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 much of a loser as Ray. Uh, Ray, he's out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how's football going? Or whatever. It hasn't started yet. So my God, man. One day he was here. He asked me quite I didn't know even what he was talking. I said, Ray, you've got me confused. I don't know what you're even talking about here. I said, This you're off the walls. I told him that. I said, You are bouncing off the walls here. Oh. Said, Man. You know remember the infomercial on on the um, exercise device called the body blade? It has to do with uh, inertia. Like it's like dynamic inertia, like isometrics. It's a blade, looks like a bow. And they and they wiggle it in different directions. Well, it turns it turns out that the guy who invented it was uh, uh, owned physical therapy uh, centers like Kessler, and and it's not a fake infomercial product. It's for real. So I asked my friend Ken Thiessen in Boca Raton, Florida. He was a bodybuilder and a pro wrestler on television, not like these guys. He says, "Yeah." He says, "It is. It is a bona fide real." So what happened? No, it's still around. They just don't run the infomercials anymore. How do they sell any? They, uh, through a uh, website and through uh, That's stupid. Yeah, uh, Amazon.com. Get it out there, let people know what it is. Yeah, why isn't it in like Target and Walmart? Say at the bottom, available at these fine stores: Walmart, Target, Cole, blah blah blah. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah, like, uh, but some people lied in fitness, like uh, uh, Charles Atlas. He didn't get his physique from uh, isometrics. Tiger. He got Tiger. He got it from old-fashioned weightlifting. No, they didn't have many weights back then, though. Well, Eugene Sandow, you you know you. Never heard of him. Well, he was like an old-time strongman. Never heard of him. Yeah. No, they had they had resistance, but they had those cannonball dumbbells. Remember, the, they looked like cannonballs with a handle. Oh, kettlebells. Yeah, and, and and dumbbells that had like like iron balls on the end. Oh well, yeah, they were one piece. You couldn't. Even change the place. No, no, no. Even power bands were used back then. Um, Joe Weider, yeah, it's true. He, he he basically owes everything to, to York Barbell and Bob Hoffman, and uh, he denied any affiliation with Bob Hoffman when he went to California. Some Somebody called him the Master Blaster. Yeah. Yeah. Doofus McDuffie. <laughs> Doofus McDuffie. Oh my God. I think the Michael Cohen expose of the recording will have a domino effect while while Sir William is in the men's room. I think it will definitely have a domino effect. And I think CNN, um, Democracy Now!, Our Revolution are going to have, maybe even the other network media are going, are going to have a field day with it. And it will have a domino effect. That's my prediction. Okay. Hey, how about that Bendix Diner as seen on TV? Jerry Seinfeld's Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Having Coffee. We're not far from it. We were just a few minutes away. On, this is the same highway. Route, Route 17 South, Route 17, the same highway.
There you go, need 17. We are also right near the famous Teterboro Airport, where all the private jets land that want to visit New York City, Teterboro, New Jersey. Oh, I got a good question. I hope you could ask it. It, it, it. It's not like universally important, but is it? Oh, hold on. Is it really very rude for a person to ask another what their income is, regardless of culture? Well, it goes goes back to what you told me about Joseph, right? About the, 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 the culture, the the, the yeah, and and you know what? I'm, I hate to say it, but Indians do the same thing. No, they not mm, different, different. So uh, it is the rudeness is an Asian thing. Amulet. Well, I mean, like like being blatantly rude, like you know. Oh. Is the Asian races and or species more overall more rude than most or all others? See? Big yes. A big yes. Oh, any good word from Jackie? She's gonna call you tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really. See how you're learning? Are you learning how to ask better? Quick yeah. Quick, get to the point. Bam. Let it answer. Bam. That's how you do it. I'm, I'm just trying to understand how people like John Greg Gabriel can be so discriminatory. He's an discriminatory. It's simple. He's an asshole. And he gets so he got away with it. Do you know that are good? Come on, man. Yeah. That's what my mother used to say. That's why they call them land lords. Lords. It goes to their head. It's like a prerequisite. They ask you first, are you an asshole? But, oh, okay, here's your license. You know, you know what um, they used to do to my mother when we were growing up? They used to discriminate against her for being a, a divorcee with young children. Without a husband. Believe it or not. <laughs> oh, you have, you have young kids? Where's your husband? I'm divorced. It's your fucking business. They used to ask her questions. That's none of your business. That's discrimination. Yeah, people, the human race just loves to, like, because they own the property. They well, own... Remember what I asked last week? I'm yeah. going to do it again. Most people, the vast majority, just don't have any clue whatsoever, do they? No. But, but people, there are a lot of people that are downright scum. Well, that comes under any clue whatsoever. Yeah. Social braces cover the whole spectrum. They don't have a clue. They just don't get it. You know, like the word sociopath, like Donald Trump shows no remorse for what he they does. They just don't get it. They don't get it. You know? Like Dad said, just Dad always had a right. You can't get through to people. Yeah. And Tell also, them. the other saying is the apple does not fall far from the tree. So if, if Trump's father was a slumlord, of course he is going to be an asshole like his dad was. No, well, I don't know whether that... Some people do break away, some don't. I think it's strength of character. Oh, well, look at that guy you used to get aggravated with. Uh, Joe was his name. His son, his son stopped talking to him. So in that case, the apple did not fall far from the tree. Personally, they don't know this. Jackie knows. I don't believe Joe is their biological father. Oh, maybe that's have. why. I never have. Ah. Short to you right now. Hey. My friend Joe is. Is he Danny and Darren's biological father? Ah. I always felt that. Always. And he kept that a secret a bit. Did he even know about it? Yes. Does Joe himself know he's not their biological father? Now watch this. Did Danny and Darren, I know they had the same mother, obviously. Did they have different fathers? 
Representative Diane Black. Diane, thank you. Representative Kevin Brady. You go. How about that? Oh, I knew that. How about that? Go. There's always something, man, that, you know, there's always a logical explanation for everything. I always felt like so he's not there. Yeah. Out there. There's just nothing similar. Take your time. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.